shape. You're looking fresh, my God. Thank you. I appreciate that. <laughs> When Jake and I do track walk, whether we're wearing all white or not, something that always surprises me is the fact that when you get back, you are just like grimy. Every single time, whether you slip or not, it's just, you got dirt and mud and sweat everywhere. It's a challenge. So hopefully this will demonstrate that uh, a little bit. Come on. <laughs> so I think you can basically just ignore everything we said yesterday about the weather. Cause it's like properly hot and sunny today. But the thing with Leo Gang is like the woods are so thick and shaded that there's there's gonna be mud regardless. So the rain comes at night and then the sun comes out in the day. So even though it's super sunny today, I'm sure like it's still gonna be a disaster in the forest. Oh no! It's actually nuts. <laughs> Pretty much like the bottom woods. I feel like the, all the tops just kind of like you're in a bit of like cruise control almost like it's all pretty simple and everyone's around the same and then you get to the war ride now it's like all right now here's the real race so it'd be interesting to see what they've actually done down the bottom i haven't been down yet so hopefully they've made some changes to make it a bit work a bit better because last year's some uphills and i think when it pisses rain like it always does it kind of gets a bit tricky but also we're professionals we need to we need to ride the hard stuff so we like complaining but i think it's just like just ride your bike and have fun so we should be able to figure it out how far could you get your personal car down this track, do you think? I own a van, like a big van as well, so probably the start start gate. Well, I don't even think it would fit through there, but if it got through there, probably the first corner. Um, but yeah, not far, not very far. <laughs> Marsh has got a uni mog, so he'd probably get pretty far. That Ooh, would be yeah. sick. I don't even know what that is. It's like this old school um, Mercedes, and they're like a massive, they look like a little mini monster truck. Oh, but yeah, okay. it's like a thing you can put like a snow plow and stuff on it. It's got like a tip bucket. It's pretty cool. Yeah, we haven't seen you in a while. How you been feeling? Yeah, I feel better. I have a long winter with all my injury and stuff. But now I I'm, I'm feel good and feel better. So it's pretty good. Every race I feel better. So it's a good point for me. Yeah, for the moment we, just, we see only the top section and feel really close than the other year. So looks really cool and really nice to ride. We will see the second section in the wood section with the most interesting part. So we will see. This is ridiculous. Yeah, pretty much the same track. They just like change some poles and could be make it interesting because they just go a little bit in the grass and it's gonna be wet and soft, so it's gonna be ready. So that's good. Would be funny. When it's wet, it's funny. Is there a particular portion of track that you're thinking about or are you just like <laughs> in the moment. If you start thinking about the wood when you are at the start, you, you know that you already lost the race. You need to be, oh well, yeah, just focus on the moment. I've had a lot of people asking how you're doing, how's the recovery process been? Um, so yeah, it was a, a nightmare after Lourdes. It's been like a month, fully wow. months in doing medical appointment or staying in my hammock recovering and I'm doing good. I can feel like I lost a bit of uh, confidence and I'm not as fit as I was for Lourdes but I'm working on it and I feel better than in Leogang so even the focus you know to to be focused was a bit hard and I can see it's coming back so I will take this race to to keep building and this is not a five minutes 30 second track so hopefully this uh, this will be an easier weekend for me but yeah, I'm doing good and I'm I'm happy you know like I the process went well and I've had a, such a good medical crew around me and this is something we need to talk more about and uh, to, to make our sport uh, be bigger. Uh, last year it was my first year so this is kind of the first track that I've gone to now with a little bit of experience let's say. Um, I mean yeah so I've, I know the roots of it but a couple things have changed and uh, don't, even, don't even want to know what it looks like down in the woods we'll get there but um, yeah looking forward to it fired out you know the top looks super uh, soft so that's gonna definitely run in but uh, most of it looks really good it's I heard it's gonna rain tomorrow and then Friday Saturday not bad so hopefully it's it's gonna be definitely rutted in and like you know like holes and everything for uh, the race but it should be good I'm scared it's gonna be muddy at the bottom, that's for sure. <laughs> I struggled a lot in the bottom last year, so I think uh, this year it's my goal to really have the bottom good. And I know that if I have the bottom good, I'm sure I'll have the, the top all right, so I should be good and be able to do something good. So yeah, I'll focus on the bottom for sure. So I've heard that you'll tend to walk the track multiple times, is that true? Yeah, it's the point of the track, but when it's shot like this, normally we do three track work. The first one today, one after the time training, and one after the quality. And is that so you can keep track of like 
changes? Yeah, to see the, the change, sometimes you're not sure where you put your wheels and it's good to see and you can just ride without the brake and you can earn a little bit of time like this, I think. We actually had someone in the comments of Dialt dubby the queen of mud. <laughs> <laughs> Do you feel like mud is a particular strength of yours? Um, I, I will say it's for sure not something I can ride, but I don't know if it's... Yeah, I have a lot of um, balance and probably it helps to ride some mud. If you stay like, you let your bike uh, go wherever you want, I think it helps. And I just don't stress if it's muddy. But, um, so yeah, I kind of like it and it looks like the wood's going to be wet again. So I'm, I'm kind of happy about it. Ultimately, I would have to say that it's pretty classic Leo Gang. Uh, when we got to the top, it was just like sunny, perfect, beautiful. Um, and then you get into the woods and it is much, much more muddy, which I can prove because of uh, the mud suit. I think I would give uh, the overall score, I'd give it like a, like a C plus on the muddiness score because the whole upper half of the track it's just like, I mean, so dry. And then down below, it's not dry at all. How has it been around here though? Pretty calm. I don't want to jinx it, but we seem pretty on top of things, which is nice. I don't know if we're getting better, or if less people are coming, or what it is, but it definitely seems pretty chill. It seems to me like y'all are just getting efficient, because this pile looks like the same size as always. These ones have all been done. Oh yeah, y'all are just on top of it now. Yeah. Do you have any tricks or secrets for staying efficient when you got this many shocks to go through. <laughs> He's efficient. Oh! <laughs> no, you just gotta kind of just stay in a rhythm, pay attention to what you're doing or else you start making mistakes. Don't be distracted by the camera. Taj made this really cool tool which works really good. And that probably saves you a couple of minutes right there. It's top secret. Is it really? Mm -hmm. So you have to pixelate it. So I made this tool to speed things up, but unfortunately it's a prototype so we can't show you it at the present moment, but it's pretty awesome. And just to speed things up for us here, because um, the service we do is quite different to what you would have done at home, you know, if you send your shock off to a service centre, because we see these so often, it's just really a freshen up. Um, and to speed things up, just made a little tool to uh, make it quicker and easier. I think everybody's pretty happy to be here because it's sunny. Like we were talking before, Leo Gang, I think a lot of people just like it here. It's got a pretty relaxed atmosphere. Things are easy, beautiful, picturesque. Everything's green. Rains at night only, except for yesterday. <laughs> at this point, we probably sound like a broken record, but there is just something so special about Leo Gang. Something about the energy on track walk today was really uh, indicative of that. It's an awesome track in a beautiful place. There is rain in the forecast tomorrow, but we're still stoked for the first day of practice before race day on Saturday. So we'll see you then. <laughs>